the greatest occasion of the West End entertainment year, the Royal Film Performance. A chance for thousands to see the Queen and the stars, the great Yul Brynner, for example. And representing the young ones, Cliff Richard escorting his mother. Here, the crowd had a close view of the stars they normally see only on the screen. Now, this is Pat Boone, they were so near you could almost touch them. What an evening was beginning at the Odeon Leicester Square. Horst Buchholz, a he-man if ever there was one, and the delightfully feminine Leslie Carroll. Then the one and only Peter Sellers escorting Danny Robin. Richard Todd. Russ Tamlin and his wife, and close by, Richard Bamer. The Queen's arrival was now imminent. All was set for the Royal Film Performance. Her Majesty was received by the theatre manager. She was accompanied by Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden. To receive the Queen in the entrance hall was the President of the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund, Sir Philip Water. Nervous moment for a young man. Cliff was among those to be presented to the Queen. A greeting for Lady Water. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Wise, he's the producer of the film chosen for the royal performance. Lord Archibald. This was the 16th royal film performance. 16 stars were being presented. An old friend of the film industry, Earl Mountbatten, with Monty Morton and Colonel Lewis. Needing, we feel sure, no introduction. <laughs> Melina Mercury, who has nothing against Monday. Her Majesty's Bouquet was presented by eight-year-old Claire Maxwell, granddaughter of the founder of ABC Cinemas. Then seven-year-old Brent Maxwell came forward with a bouquet for the princess. 